everyday life. From the significant to the petty. Time now for Christy Gustafson Barletti on 1077 GNA. Tons and stuff. Beer Letty, Times Union, timesunion.com. Good morning, Christy. How are you? Good morning. I'm well. How are you? This sort of stemmed from something that we saw trending that, you know, uh, social media posts, social media influencers are resulting in people making more impulse buys than ever. Is that factual? Yeah, there was a study from Schwab that came out, and it basically said almost 50% of people make an impulse buy based on what they see on social media. It's either the influencers or the ads, like you mentioned, or it's what their friends are buying or doing or seeing. So we figured, you know, we've all made an impulse buy, so then we asked readers and listeners to tell us about that impulse purchase that they made and that if it was great, it was a great, a great purchase or a great mistake. And we got almost 150 comments, wow. which kind of goes back to the fact that a lot of people are making impulse purchases. <laughs> so you want to run down some of the good ones, maybe some of the bad ones, too? Well, what I need to mention first, because this shocked me, a lot of people, several people, impulse bought cars. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Really? Yes, and I thought, who impulse buys a car? But apparently a lot of people impulse buy a car. Well, there is something to be said because, like, you you know, car ads are all over the radio, mm-hmm. all over the TV. You can't go more than a couple of minutes. So people do make that decision sometimes, you know, snap judgment. I was one of those people, actually. You impulse <laughs> bought a car? Yeah, so. Uh-oh, I'm criticizing you. <laughs> oh, I didn't know this. I now it's Chrissy. About 10 or 12 years ago um, with my ex we went to look for a car for her and when uh, she was buying a car I saw a used uh, Subaru Baja on the lot and I was like who doesn't need that so while we I don't know why I had two big dogs like I had no room like it was it was just a total impulse and it was a great deal so I traded my car in no I traded it in and I got this um, this used one and it was a great car but I wasn't planning on getting one because my ex was buying one that's, wow. To me, that's an expensive. Yeah, it's a real expensive. I think it was impulse dumb. purchases. A lot of people <laughs> talked about. People talked about things like makeup, like getting sucked in by the Kylie Jenner lip kits. People talked about buying a planner or buying, you know, toys they see in their feed. But when you talk about expensive, another woman said she saw a kitten in her Facebook feed one day. It was a twelve hundred dollar kitten. She bought it. And then she went back and bought the brother another twelve hundred dollar kit. Oh my wow. god! Bucks she had on no a cat. plans to buy any pets. She had no plans to get this kitten. Chrissy's but, Baja was cheaper than that. I know. Cat. <laughs> it came up, and then she thought, "Okay, I need a twelve hundred dollar Parisian cat." <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, they're the yeah. worst cats too. They shed everywhere. Oh. They're angry. Yeah, they are. Angry. They do look pretty. Allergic. Pretty I'm so allergic. She shared. Wow. Vacuums were another one, and that's what got me one time. A friend of mine was like, I'm obsessed with cleaning and cleaning products. And a friend mm-hmm. of mine said, oh, you have to buy this vacuum. It's, it's great. It's awesome. That was six months ago. It's still in the box in my house, and it's never Oh, been no. Hmm. I love my Roomba too much to replace it with some other vacuum, I guess, because I was like, oh, yeah, I need it. Carrier, you're right. Yeah. And then I never used it. And then you think, well, that's a waste of, and that's what a lot of other people ran into. They bought it. They didn't open it on time, and they either couldn't return it or it was too late to return it. Uh, one of your listeners bought a steam mop. Okay. A steam mop. <laughs> I don't know what that and is. And she didn't regret it. She loves it. Oh, she loves it? Vacation was another one. Another one was online. She's like, yeah, I'm going to go somewhere. Oops, I'm, all right, I'm going to Mexico. <laughs> another one did it with Jamaica. Last minute, her family wow. was going elsewhere, and she wasn't invited because her in-laws didn't like her. Wow. So she said, all right, what am I going to do? And then she just bought a ticket to Jamaica and went for a week and was there before they were away with the in-laws. <laughs> I wonder how many people, one of your listeners, or one of your readers, I should say, Impulse bought a Peloton, which, by the way, oh, wow. the, yes. the, those yeah. things are tremendous, but Kara. they, they're costly. They're like, super mm, expensive, but she, you know what's funny? I didn't know she Impulse bought it, but I did know she had it, because she talks about it on Facebook constantly, so clearly that was not a regretful impulse. She thinks right. it's amazing, and I see her using it all the time, and I'm thinking... Do I need one of those? Yeah, <laughs> because I nice. see someone else. I it's don't ever really. I don't want it, but it, I, I think I want it. I don't really impulse buy things that are that are good for my long term health. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, impulse yeah. is usually for me. It's gambling. Like I'll impulse buy into a tournament on DraftKings. <laughs> I'll impulse buy a whole half gallon of ice cream right. and Mine eat it. Mine usually aren't positive. No. Either.
mean, for me, it's almost anything at Target. I go into Target, I think, I don't need a cart. And then I think, I only need a handbasket. Oh, and the can't. next thing you know, I have three handbaskets and a push-around cart, and I still don't have enough time. <laughs> yeah. ah, Christy, there, this was great. Thank you very much, and we will talk to you next it's week. Good. Okay, bye, guys. All right, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, did we miss the package of bees? Did anybody else see? <laughs> I, did see somebody... I thought it was a misprint, No, well, somebody in Bulls bought a... I mean, granted, there was alcohol involved, but they bought a package of bees. I didn't know you could buy a package of bees. I didn't know how bees. you can go about that. Why? A package of bees? A package of bees. Like a live live <laughs> bees. Like to make your own. Bees. Babe, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna start having our own honey. <laughs> gonna save some money, cut some corners. What do you do? Do you, you put them yeah, you, you, you put them in the window? Like I have a window that kinda comes forward. Is that where you keep them? <laughs> Where the hell do you keep those? What's Honey, that humming wh- noise? Where are the bees? <laughs> what happens when they get delivered and you're like, well, I don't want these anymore? Like, yeah, the want? guy delivers them with the full suit on. <laughs> uh, ma'am, your bees, can you sign for them, please? <laughs> don't mind that one wasp. Just sign underneath.